Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. I'm going to be super quick this morning because I need to dash off to work. So let's get right into the advent calendar from Beyond the Pink Door. I am looking for day 15. There it is, this nice bright orange one. Feels like buttons. That's super clever, some self-cover buttons. So we're all prepared to use with the button maker we got yesterday. Love this. Okay, I have to dash to work. See you in a little bit. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 16 and Friday Sews. Yesterday, I was really wiped out after work, so I didn't video. I'm um, combining 15 and 16. I was so tired. I wasn't up for vlogging, and I thought I'm going to head up to the sewing room and I'm going to at least set out my pattern pieces. Once I did my pattern pieces, I decided let me just cut out a little bit and get this section cut out. I ended up cutting out all of the joggers except for a few pieces, the pocket detail on the had some pants and the cuffs. I want to do the cuffs in a ribbing fabric and I want the pocket detail to be a dark blue. I think it'll look really nice and I'm surprised I got as much done. I also was so surprised to see how batch cutting saved my fabric. It was definitely more noticeable because I was doing four pairs of joggers and so I was trying to fill in every space with a pocket, a pocket backing, whatever I could to make the best use of the fabric and I have about a yard and a half almost a fabric left over so that's really good I bought what was enough if I cut them out individually so that was a big savings I'm glad I batch cut I know I said it's not my favorite thing to do to batch cut and sew but it only makes sense because I'm doing them all in the same fabric I really tidied up my sewing room enough to where I could have my stacks and keep them separate because some of the sizes are very close to where I had to wonder is this a size 7 or a size 8. I did manage to complete two sewing projects this past week or yesterday actually is when I finished both of them. I finished the Jamie pajama bottoms and the loungewear shorts. Both of these are projects that I was sewing as samples for the shop. So I was sewing them at work and we have been rather busy as you would imagine. So I think it's taken me like a week to sew both of them, maybe a little bit longer than a week. So that's my sewing update. I'm going to open my advent calendar from Beyond the Pink Door. Here's my Beyond the Pink Door Advent Calendar. All right, I'm looking for day 16. Here it is. Starting to look a little empty here. This is a small. I would say needles, but I can feel something here. Maybe it's a specialty thread or something. Really cute. I've got to remember to look at the stickers. Sometimes I'm like a kid and I'm just whoop, want to rip right into the gift. It is a pack of needles. They're pony black. I've been interested in trying different needle brands. Now my good friend Adam from Adam Sews, you probably all follow him, had recommended um, I think it was a tulip brand and they have the tiniest eye. I thought I am never going to be able to thread these and I got myself one of those 
I'll have to show it to you. Hold on a minute, let me go get it. I got this desk needle threader. I wanted to make sure I called it the correct thing. And it works great. I think I spent about 10 or $12 on it. So it wasn't super expensive and well worth the money because I was struggling <laughs> to thread that needle. And the eye is so small in comparison to just all purpose thread. I, I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> and with this, it was boop, so quick and easy. So that is definitely a find. So if you're struggling with threading a needle, you might want to try this by Clover. No affiliation. I get no commission for this, just something I found that I really like. Hello, I'm back in my sewing room and I'm ready to start batch sewing. I have all of my pocket details pinned to the appropriate pocket facing. I put some Mariflex thread into my sewing machine. I have my walking foot on and the stretch needle. So I'm ready to go. I did fine with the Mariflex thread. It was pulling through really funny and not working well. And when I turned it upside down, that seemed to be the ticket for these big spools of thread. So if you've run into the same problem that I have, give that a try. So I'm going to batch sew. I've got all of these organized. This I'm going to baste using the sewing machine. Then I'm going to move over to my new Triumph and I'm going to surge the rest of these together. One pair of joggers complete other than the cuffs. I'm going to do all the cuffs at the same time and this is one most of the way done. I have all the pocket details basted on. So I'm going to push on and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> 